It's Saturday. You know what that means. Crash today. Or crash tar day. If you want to uh, really butcher the word. Um, what the hell is this? I forgot about all this. There's like a central... Oh, I didn't want to... No, okay, no, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me. I see what's going on. There's like a central... Uh, oh. Oh, I can kind of see what's behind the door. Um, a central world. Uh, okay, it's one big map with each of the four different worlds like around the edge of this central area. And that massive spaceship over there, that's like the final boss race of the game. Uh, which I can't get to until I've got all four keys which I get for beating bosses. So, I've done one of them, I've got one key. Uh, wonky donkey. Time for number two. I can't remember who this boss is. Who are the bosses in this game? Number one's Ripperoo, I've just done him. Uh, I haven't just done it. <laughs> It, this is I, this is a few days later. Spoilers. Um, there's Papu Papu as well, which I guess might be this one. It kind of looks like temples, actually. Yeah, Papu. Papu. <laughs> it does tell me. So, where I was before was Insanity Beach. This is the Lost Ruins. The boss is Papu Papu, Glacier Park. Oh, Komodo Joe. Yeah, I remember. And then Citadel City is Pinstripe. Yes. I forgot Pinstripe was in this. Uh, here we go. So, what, what's, what's happening? What's new? Not much. Not much. How are you? Please tell me. Please let me know. I really care. I really care so much. Um, no, I do. Tiger Temple. Here we go. Oh, I, I, I need to get back into the boost system, because that was terrible. This really looks a lot like Crash 2. And look, that looks a lot like the moon from Crash 3 that I thought was the Insomniac logo, but it wasn't. So yeah, the one thing that's like a big difference between this game and Nitro Car is that all the tracks in this game are based on locations in Crash 1, 2 and 3, which is really cool you kind of revisit places you saw in the platform games and drive around them. I don't think they're all from those games, but mostly. Um, and in Crash Nitro Kart you go to this crazy alien planet and act several planets actually. Um, like instead of one big map you just drive to different sections of it. So, you teleport to different planets, so there's some crazy environments there, uh, which is cool as well. But it's nice to see things that feel, that really feel like proper Crash Bandicoot. This is what you get with this game. Actually, tag team racing does a similar thing to this, where it's there's like a central world and then different hubs leading off from it, except. That one, you, you explore it on foot instead of, oh, piss, <laughs> instead of driving around it, so that's, that's pretty cool, actually. So yeah, out of all the racing games, actually, I'd say, even though Nitro Kart is the one I, I played the most, it's got, like, probably the weakest uh, overworld system. I don't know how common this kind of thing is for kart racing games actually like I don't think any of the Mario Kart games have a like a map you drive around do they even have a story or anything I mean this this doesn't really have much of a story but you know I don't think any other kart racer that I've played has got a, an open world like these games do kind of well they, you don't race on the open world but you know what I mean it's not like Burnout Paradise or whatever games that ripped off. Oh, I love Burnout Paradise. Uh, I'm third, apparently. I haven't been paying much attention. So I, I guess I've got to do it again. I think you have to, yeah, you have to be first to win the trophy. So I'll do it again and actually watch what I'm doing this time. Oh dear. Oh, I'm... Oh. 
I, I thought I was going to get the boost that time. One thing I want to mention uh, as a technical thing is that I'm not sure how good the audio for this is going to sound. It might be like really, really, really bad because normally I would be wearing headphones for this, but um, I've kind of I've changed my setup a little bit so I can now uh, record these videos sitting on my bed, which is what I'm doing now. I've got a beanbag behind me. Uh, can you hear that? And it's it's a lot more comfortable than sitting in my chair, so that's what I'm doing. Because of that, my headphone cables don't quite reach where I'm sitting, so uh, I've just got the, the audio coming straight out the telly, uh, which means you might be able to hear it. And because of the way this microphone works, it it might sound horrible, so I don't know. Hopefully not, but if it does, I'm probably not going to do it again because it can't be any worse than that that first little big planet live stream I did with the the infamous Apple headphones. Okay, so where am I going wrong? Why am I not doing very well with this? God, the f the first uh, the first world was so much easier than this. I didn't have any problems there. God damn it. This this is quite similar to what happened in um, the first three games when I played those. Like, it always started out really well. I did really well in the first walkthrough every time. And then it just all went to shit. Like, uh, I, I really didn't do very well in that. I think it was, it was either about 300 or 400 deaths I managed to rack up across those three games, which is insane. And I think m probably over half of those were crashed through. That is one hell of a frustrating game. Okay, I did it this time. I did it. Wow, look at that. Lap 247, lap 341. Lap 3 is the one that won it for me then. That's quite an improvement. Oh, it's go it's going all right so far. That's going to be the last time I have to restart a race. Okay. Uh, can I skip this? Yes. There we go. Does Ukaruka still talk to me after every race? Yep. Come on. I know. I know, whatever you're going to say. Yes, yeah, no, I did know that. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, what now? Yes, I know. I've li I've just done a boss race. I know how they work, you knobhead. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Yeah, here we go. What is this? Coco Park. We're going to go a bit Coco, if you know what I mean. I don't think I've ever tried the drink Coco. Coco with an A. Um, coffee is my thing. Oh, come on. <laughs> I swear I was much better at getting the boost last time I played this. Whatever. Whatever. Now this one, I don't... It doesn't look like anything from the other games, actually, this level. Um, you know what? When I said that the uh, all the tracks in this are like locations from the first three games, I got a feeling it might actually only be the first two that they've taken them from. And then there's like other new things like this. Um... Because because the third game was uh, time travel and all that, so you know you ended up in medieval worlds and uh, prehistoric times and all that. So since this game clearly takes place on the uh, the islands, the Crash Islands, the Wumper Islands, as I think we're supposed to call them now, because uh, the that's where this game happens. Same as the first two. So, 
Well, okay, I say that, but that's wrong as well, because a, a lot of the first, a lot of Crash 2 actually was in other places. So, just I mean, just ignore everything I'm saying. It's probably the safest thing to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only like the temple levels in Crash 2 that actually happen on those islands, uh, or maybe maybe like the what they called like air crash the the jungly jungle levels I don't know what to call them I don't know I mean everything I'm saying could be total bullshit and it probably is so just just ignore me just ignore me it's because I'm so much more relaxed I'm so much more comfortable than normal that I'm just I'm just letting it all out I'm just talking shit without citation. Oh. See, I, I told you I was going to win first time from now on. Come on. Oh, bloody Uka Uka. Go home. Go. Shut up. Shut up. God. <laughs> yeah, no wonder Crash hates him. Uh, oh, I'm going this way. Do you have to do these races in this specific order? Because I'm just going to the ones that are flashing on the map. Can you not? It seems weird that to have like this open world map where you can choose where to go, but then still force you to play each level in a specific order. I did not Seems weird. Like Crash 2 and 3, all the warp rooms, you could play the levels from each warp room in whatever order you want. And this is the... Oh, did I get the boost? I think I did. Um, this is basically... War rooms, isn't it? But they're forcing you to. Uh, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! This is a bit tight. Uh, yeah, they, they're still forcing the order. It's weird. So, since the, the boss for this world is Papu Papu, and this level is called Papu's Pyramid, I think I should be paying attention to this track a bit more than normal. Uh, don't fall off the edge, thank you. Yeah, this track with the, the plants, the, are they piranha plants? Are we allowed to call them that <laughs> on a PlayStation game? Um, oh god, oh bloody hell. Nah, pir piranha plants, is that a real name of a plant or is that just a Mario thing? I don't know. They're not Venus flytraps, are they? They're like big flowers or something. I don't know. I don't know anything about plants. Uh, oh god. Yeah, but th this this track in particular is the one I remember from my childhood. This is this is one of my earliest Crash Bandicoot memories. This and Insanity Beach uh, in the first game. That was one of the only one of the only levels we could actually play because we didn't have a memory card and we didn't know how passwords worked, and we were all. Seven, so we had no idea how to actually play the game. Um, yeah, I don't know why I never, I never bought my own copy of this game. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh god, I'm gonna. I think I might actually have to do this one again. I'm going into the third lap in third place. It's not looking good. It's that bit at the start I can't do. The tight corners are too much. And also, the plants do have a habit of killing me. I need some more Wumper Fruit. Where are they? Okay, boosting is good. I'm getting some boosts. There's, is that Crash yet? No, that's not Crash. Uh, it's... Is it... Wow, that was really bad. Is it Pura or Pura? I don't know. I don't actually know how you pronounce that character's name. Come on. He is from he or she. It might be a she, actually. Uh, the tiger is from Crash 3. So there's something from Crash 3. And I guess this is kind of Crash 1, but you never saw any of this. Like, in Crash 1, all Papu Papu had was a small hut. Uh, one room. Not even a bed or a toilet. So, I don't know where he got this massive temple from. Um, God, that plant might have had me if uh, he didn't meet someone else first. That's 
don't know, maybe all the waterfalls and stuff and the, like the general environment actually makes it look like the second island from Crash 1 instead of the one that Papu Papu lived on, so I don't know. God, here we go. Oh. You know what I, I really want um, is like a, a, a proper new Crash game, like open world for a... Uh, with all the, like, the whole thing based on the original Three Islands. Because we've never, never had that. Like, Twin Sanity was good, that had the first island, you know. You've got to explore loads of places from the first game, which is awesome. But then, you never got to vi visit the other two. Um, I think they were going to put stuff from the second island in the game, but that's one of the million things that got cut from it. Um... And like, Crash the Titans and Mind Over Mutant, they did, they were all based on the main islands as well, but they changed everything, and they weren't very good games, and it, it didn't really feel like, like Crash. So, the dream would be Twin Sanity 2, but obviously that's never going to happen, so. Twin Sanity 2, set on the first three islands, oh, that would be well wicked. Okay, come on, Coco, I've got you. Break out the butter, bitch. Uh, it's funny that I'm playing with Dingo Dial, actually, now that I think about it, considering how many times I died trying to kill Dingo Dial in Crash 3. Uh, in the live stream. Like, I, I swear I spent more time on that 30 second boss fight than I spent on any of the levels themselves. Oh, the problem was I kept trying to cheat. Cheaters never prosper. Oh. Right, how many have I done from this this world? Have I done three track three tracks from here? Or two tracks? Oh engine's not happy. Engine's rockets going off. Seven. Oh yeah, I've done three. I've only got one more to do. Uka Uka, I swear to God, let me be. What do you want now? Get a tight turn or to, face a to be honest, I can't actually hear him very well because my TV volume is low. Because of uh, the whole recording thing. Dingo Canyon, oh, this is my track. This is Dingo Dial's track. Awesome. I guess... Do, do all the, the characters have tracks named after them? There was Crash Cove and Coco Park. Is it Coco Park? Coco something. Uh, I know there's one in Cortex Castle later on. Uh, and then the bosses all have their own tracks, obviously. I don't know. I should. There might be too many characters for them all to have a track. But that would be cool if they did. I um, can't even remember what the other tracks in this world were. Uh, I should be paying more attention. Right. Okay, it's not going too bad so far, this. I think I'm. Oh, I missed. That's pretty cool that you can fire your shield out at people, turn it into a weapon. Uh, maybe I should have kept it. Although, actually, when it's green, it's limited time anyway, so it might run out. When you get 10 Wumba fruit and uh, you get the shield, it turns blue and it lasts forever until you get hit or shoot it towards someone. Uh, what's over here? TNT. Yeah, I need some more fruit. Well, I mean, technically, I've already got my 5 a day on there, so. I think actually you're only supposed to have like two fruit a day now because uh, and then like loads of veg as well because shoot fruit shoot shoot is very frugary uh, uh, fruit is very sugary and sugar is delicious but bad apparently I don't know everything's bad for you these days oh my god except dark chocolate that's always been healthy 
Aren't you supposed to have like a block of dark chocolate and a glass of wine every night? Isn't that the healthiest way to do it? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm like with my red wine. God. Dark chocolate though. I love dark chocolate. <clears throat> is it time for the boss? I think it is. Papu Papu. Back on Papu Pyramid. Okay, here we go. Let me adjust myself on me being mag. I'm getting super comfortable now. Uh, so much so that I'm drowning out whatever Papu Papu is saying, so I hope it's not important. Look at his belly bouncing up and down. That's delightful. Yeah, it's only Ripperoo that gets subtitles for their cutscene because he doesn't he doesn't speak English. He's just crazy. Crazy kangaroo. Look at Papu Papu, he really doesn't fit in that cart very well, does he? You're thinking about it, could you actually call Crash Tag Team Racing a kart racer? Because they're not carts, they're they're actually actually cars. Um, God, this rain is ruining my day. Um, yeah, they're proper cars, aren't they? So I don't know if it's a kart racer or not. Is it a racing sim? Like Drive Club? I don't know. I haven't played Crash Tag Team Racing for a long time, actually. It's it's a pretty good game. It's very weird. Uh, but, I mean, it's better than the other stuff Radical made for Crash, so... Oh my god. Oh my god! That game actually came out, like, 11 years ago now, which is terrifying to think about. I seem to, sometimes I can shoot these rockets backwards and sometimes I can't and I don't really know why. Um, God, that, that section there with all the 90 degree turns really slows me down a lot. I don't know if I'm going to... This one might take me more attempts than uh, Ripperoo did. Oh, I, <laughs> I looked away. I'm really bad at paying attention to uh, the games I'm playing, if I'm doing commentary as well. you think I'd be starting to get the hang of it now, but nope. Nope. Oh, he's not too far ahead. I don't know if there's like any any rubber banding in this game. Uh, there might be, because I know like Crash 2 and 3 had adaptive difficulty, so I guess it's the same thing. I just can't. I can't deal with these corners. God damn it. Oh, I got it. It's quite hard to hit when he's constantly throwing things behind him. So. That's a good one. Can I use this shortcut actually? I'm not. No. I keep driving past it and I keep meaning to try it and I keep failing. Okay. I think actually I might get this first. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Well, maybe not. Maybe no, no. It's all, it's all gone to shit. Ah! Do you know what happened there? I was pressing square to fire instead of circle. If I'd managed to fire that missile, I might have made it. I mean, I still probably would have driven into the wall, but I would have slowed it down at least. Because. Oh, what the? No, I'm not having that. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Oh, I'm losing it already. I've only been playing for 20, 25 minutes, 24 minutes, something like that. And I've already just completely lost the plot. Maybe being comfortable isn't a good idea. I'm too relaxed, that's what's happened now. I'm just, I'm not paying attention, but I'm going to try and boost around here. Yes, yes, yes. See, that was alright. And, uh, no, I'll fuck that up. But you can boost around there. It's not too, too bad. Come on, you prick. Stop throwing things. Yes, I got him. 
the missiles are pretty effective if you can time it right so he doesn't throw something out. Oh god, I'm still doing it, I keep pressing square instead of circle. It's really annoying. Oh, because I'm used to pressing square to spin attack in Crash games, so... Right. I'm going to keep these rockets uh, until he gets past me. And then I'm going to press circle to use them. See? See, I know how to play this game. I've got it. Oh god, this is so annoying, this section. I don't like that bit. Fuck you. Okay. Gotta get some more weapons and not fall off the side. It's going alright. TNT, no. Yes, yes. Please don't. Please don't shake it off. God, god damn it. I'm, god, I'm so close to singing Taylor Swift right now. No, no. God, the last, the last corner again. At least there's another lap. It's not over yet. Yeah, though, God, those potions really, really slow you down. That's not good. I've got potions on these tight corners. I'm, I'm fucked. Come on, come on, boost, boost. Okay. Oh no! Oh, pissed. Oh God! Come on, come on. Where is he? I see you up there, Papu. I'm coming for you. No, don't, don't go off the side. Oh God, he's too far ahead. He's too far ahead. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get this. And I, neither of those missiles got near him. No, no, I'm gonna have to do it a third time, aren't I? Come on, come on, come on. No chance. No chance. He's already, yeah, he's done. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's all, it's all falling apart. It's all coming undone. This is only the second boss. How am I going to beat Oxide? Oh no! I swear I used to be really good at this game. I was always good at kart races. Like I, I haven't played much Mario Kart, but when I have, I've always been the best. Even with the stupid Wii steering wheel, I would still boss at it. Okay, come on. Concentrate. Concentrate. I still keep forgetting about that shortcut. I don't know if it actually saves any time. But... There we go. I actually kind of wanted him to get ahead of me then so I could shoot him. Uh, yeah, this corner right here, you kind of need to use a handbrake turn to get around that because just normal power sliding isn't enough. Oh god, no, don't, don't. There we go. Good timing with the missiles. Um, I mean, I didn't hit him, but good time, good time in picking him up. And I'm not going to risk shooting while I'm going around these corners. Here we go. Uh, he might be a little bit too far ahead to use this. Yeah, I didn't get him. I need to time it right with the potions. Like that. Yes. Right, can I get a shortcut now? Am I going fast enough? Yes. Oh, where does it? Where does it go? Oh, the, I don't know if that was actually any good. God. I wonder if you can accidentally, like, land on that other part of the track and drive on it, or if it respawns you somewhere. Because you might accidentally put yourself really far back in the race. Oh, this is it. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, I assume you can't just drive off at that point and get to the end of the lap. That would be too much of a shortcut. Uh, going alright. Let's see if I can hit him with his own potion. So the green ones aren't too devastating. It's the red ones, I think, that produce the rain cloud, uh, which really slows me down. Okay. Oh god. There we go. Yeah, the only problem with that shortcut is you might land directly in front of a plant. Oh god, did I hit him then? If I did, then... Come on, come on, come on. Come on. He's... Yes, no, I've got it this time. I've got it. I've done it! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That was intense. That was intense. But I'd done it. I'd done it. I knew I could do it. You knew I could do it, I'm sure. 
Ach Gott. God, actually. He looked really big in the car, but standing next to Dingo Dar there, he doesn't look that big. I think Dingo Dar might be. Yeah, he's he's definitely taller than him, isn't he? Oh, I've got the key. Awesome. <laughs> 